my channel. So today I have something different for y'all. I have a very different kind of video. As you can notice, I have a new background set up over here. When I was thinking of ideas, creative ideas to set up a YouTube background, I literally, this is a true story. I went on YouTube to search for, you know, inspirations and all of that. I didn't come across even one video that helped me. A simple inspiration for a video background. I thought, okay, fine. So let me just figure this out on my own. And that's why I've been taking my time to upload my videos because I've been setting this up. And um, yeah, so finally, now that it's here, this is hopefully going to be your a perfect guide to setting up a video background. I'm gonna show you all the things, how I bought it, where I bought it from, how I set it up. And yeah, just guide you through it because um, here on my YouTube channel, we're a family and I would love to share all my secrets out in the open. So everyone can benefit from it. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you thought of my new background because I'm so, so excited about this. I love it. I've always wanted my brand in my room because you know not only is it my youtube background but actually when i'm sitting working editing in my room i'm 90 percent in my room because this is my workplace this is my chilling spot it's everything so this is actually pretty motivational because i just look up and i can see my brand and i'm like yeah let's go ahead and hustle so it's pretty chilled actually as a room record and yeah, so without any further ado, if you're interested in knowing how I set up my YouTube background, then please keep on watching. To start off, all you need is a wall and a table, preferably if it's white, it's like perfect for you. But I didn't have that, so I had to create a white table, which is why I used this cloth over here. I bought it for 150 rupees from Manish Market. You can use a dupatta if you like. Next, you're literally just gonna see a bunch of random things that I've set in a way that looks good. So that's just a bowl that I wasn't using. And then a shoe, just one shoe. This is a scented candle from Element Co. It's really nice if you ever want to light it up just to be in your room, it's nice. Uh, these are again some random objects, some candle holders that I found really long back my mom had purchased them. So yeah, I'm using these. It's literally all about how you set it up because that makes all the difference. This is some potpourri, so uh, basically dried flowers that you can add some scent to. Just putting in some candles that I bought for 50 rupees, you get like 12 of these for 50 rupees from a general store. So yeah, uh, this is again a pouch that I wasn't using. It's by Victoria's Secret. I had bought the perfumes long back. So just something glittery in the background gets blurred, which looks good. Then this is an empty bottle of Malibu alcohol and uh, I think it's a really cute bottle. Again, some glass containers that I finished drinking the juice from. Don't throw them, they can come handy like this. Then here I used again another random object. This is just a boat I found around. So don't really need to spend a lot. Uh, just find things that you have in the house and I'm sure you can set up something with it. Uh, here is this thing that I bought for 25 rupees. It's just this glittery material. Uh, I bought it from Alpha and you just gotta spread it across the table to give that little bit of shine in the background. To cut the colour, I'm using again another glass uh, vase. Uh, this again, I filled it with some of the glittery material and uh, this vase is going to be used for some flowers because I think flowers really, um, you know, just brighten up the environment. So this is the bunch that I made. I actually wanted something with purple and white, something that looks perfect like this. But believe me, on the internet, I mean on Amazon and everywhere, I couldn't even find one perfect one. So I went to the nearest florist and I told him to make it. Some of these are fake and some of these are original. So it'll last for, for a month and I bought it for 150 rupees and I don't think so that was expensive. So I can easily recreate it and yeah, this would last me for long. So just go ahead and set it uh, after you've set up your camera. See through the lens and adjust it. Uh, add whatever you need, like I'm adding this flower pot over here. And when you're satisfied through the lens, you're all done. Zooming out a little, I always wanted my brand in my background and this is so exciting. TLYL, I'm gonna talk about it in a bit. So just to set it up a little more fancier, I'm using this fur that I got for literally 100 rupees from Four Bungalows. So as you see, I didn't really spend a lot in my background, but still it looks really expensive. And uh, yeah, these are just some fairy lights, cool white fairy lights that I'm gonna spread across the table just to get blurred out in the background again. It looks really whimsical and yeah, pretty. Now all that's left to do is light it up.
Now let's talk about the main element of my background. This is the TLYL sign, which is my brand, my YouTube name. That look you love. So this is the short form. I got this from a website called Gift Style India. They have an Instagram page. Go check the website out. The link is given in the description bar. They have a lot of styles and fonts that you can choose from. Different light shades also. You can obviously create your own name, whatever word you like. And all my subscribers, for y'all, I have a 10% off. So all the details are given below. But if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below. It's a really cool. Way to light your room up. And that was it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Usually on my channel, you will find makeup tutorials, skincare, hair care routines. But uh, I just felt like this video could be beneficial for quite a few people out there who are looking for something like this. So I really hope it helped. If it did, then definitely give it a thumbs up because that way it'll reach. A lot more people. Go ahead and leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't as yet, because I have many more videos coming up very soon for y'all. Also, I share a lot of the behind the scenes and sneak peeks on my social media. I'll put my username over here, so you just are up to date if anything new is going on that I'm not able to share on YouTube on a regular basis. So it's like keeping up with Drithi. <laughs> That's about it for today's video. Until my next one, I will see y'all very soon. Bye.